Bag review, large tote versus mini bag. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a review on the two bags that I've been using nonstop this summer season. The first bag is the YSL tote bag and the second bag is the Celine Tilly bag. If you've been on the market for a new bag, I hope this video will give you some insights and I will definitely share some pros and cons of each bag and why I purchased it along with the features and all other details. So I hope you find this video helpful. To my returning viewers, it's so good to see you here and thank you as always for joining me. And if you are new to this channel, my name is Gigi and and this is Styled by Glam, my channel that I share lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content. If you enjoy these type of content, I do hope you will join me here on my channel. I really appreciate the support and you guys are really the reason why I continue to create videos on a weekly basis. Another way to connect is Instagram and TikTok. I post on their daily outfit ideas as well as beauty tips and hacks. I usually post stories and behind the scenes over there as well. If you do join me over there, definitely say hi. Lastly, I also mentioned in my video from last week, I put together a free ebook sharing my go-to morning and nighttime routine that truly, truly helps me keep my skin looking dewy and glowy at 42. Ebook is entirely free. None of the products are sponsored. It's just my little token of gratitude, a little thank you for your support up until now. For easy download, the link is in the description. I hope you'll enjoy this ebook and find it helpful. All right, let's start talking about the bags. Starting with the YSL tote bag. Large bags are really making a comeback this summer season. A lot of the brands are coming out with them and out of all the ones that I've looked at, this is the one that I ended up purchasing. Before I came to make this purchase, I actually shopped around a lot. I looked at the Loewe Paseo bag and I also looked at a lot of the Bottega bags, but I feel like most of their options is more on the structured end and I wanted something a little bit more on the relaxed and casual. And, and I think this one from YSL was in the perfect size, style, and it just checks off a lot of the boxes for me. Features wise, this bag is in leather. It has a flat leather strap that goes all the way around. The leather just like takes up the whole entire bag. There's not that much seams other than on the side. The center front does have a YSL logo and it is also a clasp attached to a leather strap. And that's how you keep the bag closed. Really easy to kind of open and close but it does keep your contents a little bit safer because the top is very wide open this clasp i don't think it's just a design option but it is functional there's two leather straps that's inside the bag which is a fun feature because if you tie them together and it was the sales lady at the store that showed me it basically makes it into a whole different bag it also makes it a little bit safer because the opening on the top does become smaller i use this feature a lot when i was in europe there kind of known for their pickpocket and as much as I love traveling with this bag I was a little bit worried because the opening was so big on the top but this feature with the two straps and the option of tying them together to close up the top was a great little thing that I think the designers really thought about it the bag price is priced at three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars before tax it is a little bit pricey but for the size of this bag, I would have to say I thought it was pretty reasonable. This one in particular, I feel like the quality of the leather and the size, it's actually priced much lower than I thought it would be. In comparable, like the Loewe bags or even the Bottega bags, anytime you go to the large size, it's at least 4,000, 5,000 or up. Now to go over the pros and cons of this bag. The pros is definitely the size. I love that it's so big. I can put everything in it. I use it for work. I use it for travel. It's amazing. I just love how easy it is to use. Another pro is the quality. The leather quality is so soft, but at the same time, very sturdy. I can see myself using this bag for a really, really long time. Quality will hold up. Now the cons, because it is made of leather, it is on the heavier end. So fair warning, this bag 
bag does have a little bit of a weight to it. I wouldn't say it's hard to carry though because the straps are very comfortable. It is in that soft leather, but it does add weight. And the second con, and kind of mentioned it before, the opening is very big on top. Pickpocket or losing things could be an issue, but the little feature with the straps to tie them together to kind of hold in the opening a little bit was a nice little touch to resolve that issue. Overall, I would give this bag, if I were to rate it, I would give this bag an 8 out of 10. The two points is mainly because one is the weight and the second is the big, the opening on the top. So even though they are cons, I still do like this bag a lot as is and I have no complaints and have been using it since I bought it. The second bag is this Celine Tilly bag. In comparison to the YSL Tote, this one is definitely a mini bag. However, in Celine's website or in their store, this is considered the medium size. But clearly, this is on the mini end. It's your typical little shoulder bag that's super easy to style with and you can just throw on and go. I've always wanted a Triumph bag, but Previously, most of Celine's bag that has the Triumph logo, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Anyway, if I'm not, I do apologize. But with this logo, most of the time it's used as a buckle on the bag. And after trying out a few design options, I noticed for me at least, the buckle, the way it functioned, wasn't my favorite. Maybe because of my nails, it could be a personal thing and that's why I never made the purchase. When I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. First of all, the logo is no longer a buckle. It is just accessorized on the outside of the bag. And another reason why I knew I had to get it was because I was in Venice, Italy. If you know, when you're in Europe, pricing is way better than if I made the purchase here in the US and I'll be insane to let that opportunity go. And that's why I made the purchase. I've been very happy, no regret. In terms of features, it is a zipper opening. It has a shoulder strap that is adjustable. The outside is cow skin, the inner is lamb skin. Love the quality. It's a simple bag, but very intricately made. For the price, I'm gonna go with the price that's listed here for the US, which is $2,450 before tax. Pros of this bag, I love how lightweight it is. It is a mini bag, it's super easy to throw on. It's just so dainty, it's so easy. You can dress it up and dress it down. I wear this every day, but I also used it to a wedding when I wore a, more, a slightly more formal outfit and it worked too. And the other pro is even though it's more on the mini end, it's actually quite roomy. So it fits a lot of my items in there with no issue. Everything I need, I can fit in there. And that's why I love this bag so much. Cons wise, if I really have to pick one, I would say the finishing of the leather on the outside is on the shiny end, which I love and then looks so chic. However, it does leave some fingerprint. It will leave marks on the bag. And with that shine, if there's marks, you can immediately see it. So I'm often kind of just wiping it down and removing my fingerprints. When it comes to rating it, I'm giving it a 10-10. I can see myself using this bag for a really, really long time. And it's so versatile, it's so timeless, it's really worth the investment. And that's my review on the YSL tote bag and the Celine Tilly bag. If there's anything I didn't go over or if you still have more questions about these bags, feel free to leave your comment below. I'll make sure to answer to everyone. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to find out or direct you to a page that might have more info. Thank you again for joining me this week. And if you are still here, it would really help me out if you could also give this video a thumbs up. As always, I truly enjoy sharing this space with you and I hope to see you guys on the next video. I'm